Hello everyone, I am Oscar Poole, the owner of Colonel Poole's Barbecue here in East LJ, Georgia, just 75 miles north of uh, Atlanta. And uh, this is a video of Pat Buchanan's visit to our place here at this restaurant and also our school and the local radio station in LJ, Georgia, just a few days ago, March the 30th, 1995. I'm also the chairman of the GOP here in Gilmer County, Georgia, and I think I was the first to endorse Pat Buchanan for the next presidency. It's a great honor to know Pat Buchanan and Shelley and to have Pat here as they were twice now, in 1992 and again here in 95. And uh, we're honored to be an example of small town America, USA. I understand that it, since Pat was here uh, just a few days ago that he has risen in the polls, now tied for second place with Phil Graham. Oh, that's good news. I'm glad to hear about that. What you will see on this short video, you will see at first introduction by Ron Pierce, the father-in-law of our son Darvin Poole. Of course, Darvin was the, uh, taking films also that day. That's uh, not professional at the very beginning, as you may guess. And then followed by that, you will see people gathering here at Colonel Poole's Georgia Barbecue in East LJ, Georgia. A big crowd, over 100 people were here. Now this is 20 months before the election. Last time, there were 500 here. And it seemed like the whole world came. You will see five I think five TV stations, seven TV clips that we took off the TV broadcast. There is Atlanta. Well, the first three are Chattanooga, Tennessee, just an hour and a half over this way. And of course, Atlanta is less than an hour and a half this way. We're right in the middle here in the beautiful North Georgia mountains. Chattanooga, Tennessee, channels three, three times, channel nine, two times, channel 12, one time, and Atlanta Channel uh, 2, one time. My special thanks to Paul Quarles, Joe McCutcheon, Ron Pierce, Darvin Poole, and others who are making this little video possible. Now, why small town America? Well, here's where it is. There are more LJs than there are Atlantis or Denver's or San Francisco's. And, uh, the media will come here. We proved that. In 1982, let me read. Uh, in 92, the BBC, that's in England, and the, the war is broadcasting from Europe, CBC from Canada, CNN, MTV, the Japanese, the Associated Press, Time, Newsweek, People, ABC, NBC, and CBS. Now that tells you that the media will come to the small towns. And I am making a plea for small town America. That's what we are. And there's more of us than there are of them. And so I'm hoping that we can make Papa Cannon a small town America person. Finally, thank you, Pat and Shelley Buchanan. Edna and I admire, respect, and love you dearly. And thanks for letting us be a part of you. And you certainly are a part of us. Oh, before we uh, go beyond that, notice here on the wall is some of the media, besides what you're going to see now on the TV. Pat Buchanan's corner. It is very fitting that we should be in the corner here, in Pat's corner. He was here in 1990, February 24th, 1992, just after he had come off the 37%, I call it victory in New Hampshire, and then pulled off that 36% here in Georgia and I heard Georgia referred to as the New Hampshire of the South. Uh, so we have more to say, but uh, don't have time to do it. I want you to see this video now. And thank you again, uh, Pat and Shelley Buchanan, for being in our hearts and being here on the 30th of March, 1995. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the next president of the United States, Patrick 
You can it. I agree. Yeah. 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 Melanie. Uh oh. Oscar Poole and, uh, is going to at this time endorse Pat, but Oscar is well known around the country. He's a Gilbert County Republican Party chairman right. and truly a great American. That's his lovely wife, right. Edna. And ladies and gentlemen, now we present to you Oscar Poole, who will endorse Pat Buchanan. Oscar, you got the Thank you. East LJ. <laughs> Look how this crowd loves you here. Yeah. Hey. Our hearts in 1992 when you came here and you helped define us, uh, Colonel Poole's Georgia Barbecue, as a conservative barbecue. <laughs> I tell the world we are conservative for two reasons. We have a low overhead <laughs> and we cut out the fat. <laughs> and we believe in you and we're honored to uh, be a part of you and Shelly. And, uh, we are, at this moment, I am going to introduce you. I, I believe I'm the first GOP chairman in America. County. Have you heard of anybody else? Oh, well, you're the first. You're the first. I'm the first. <laughs> <That's not laughs> <a> We've got to be first. <laughs> <laughs> so as uh, Colonel Oscar Poole here at uh, the barbecue place in East LJ, Georgia, I am happy to endorse, to endorse you for the next president of the United States, Patrick Buchanan. <laughs> elected president, take that office. I want you to introduce the fellow that's going to replace Haley Barber as chairman of the Republican National Committee. Right down now in Pennsylvania Avenue. Yes. 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 us, I think, through the South, all the way to the White House, after we send Bill and Hillary back, wherever it was, the Joyce and Elders is gone. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.
this is yeah. right. <laughs> right. 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 Say hey. The red tie? Yeah. Uh, Alright, I'm going to. I just thought of that. Ron, your lens is getting dirty in there. Well, I haven't cleaned them ever. We might need to do that one of these days. I will tell you about some of my projects after a while. Third time he accused me of it. And this wasn't like me. I was just naive. Are you going to get the picture with me? I sat there. I'm clean. You want to get your picture with me? You want to take me to school? Get extra pay? Where's Dorothy? Right here. Where's Dorothy? I think I met him coming in. I thought I recognized that football coach. Yes. And they're having trouble down there. Oh, I ain't sure. Put this in your pocket. Okay. Let's take a look at it. Thank you here. Thank you here. Is pro-life on abortion, wants to lower taxes, and supports prayer in schools. He's also trying to picture himself as a man of the people. So it doesn't hurt to be seen enjoying barbecue at pools, a popular place in LJ. Earlier, Buchanan tackled one issue that's a major concern to working people, racial quotas. Affirmative action amounts to reverse discrimination against white folks that is as wrong as the discrimination that was practiced against black folks. We have got to get away from the idea of judging people on the basis of race, color, and start judging them on the basis of merit, ability, excellence, and competence. What to do about affirmative action may become the very hottest issue of this presidential campaign. All right, Scott, thank you. Sure. We'll see you tonight at 6. Scott will show us how LJ voters are reacting to Buchanan and his visit today. Eddie Robinson's Three on Your Side. The 1996 presidential election is a mere 20 months or 600 days away, so naturally, candidates are campaigning in the Tennessee Valley. Starting out early, they have to to raise funds, and there are two today meeting with supporters and sharing their views. The Republican hopefuls Pat Buchanan and Lamar Alexander are both here. We'll hear what Pat had to say in a few minutes, but first, let's hope Pat Buchanan took his grassroots campaign for the White House to North Georgia today. Scott Montgomery followed him to Ella J, Georgia, the Apple capital of the world. Scott is here now with a report on the Buchanan campaign. That's right. You know, a lot of people may wonder, why Ella J? I mean, it's a very small town, a beautiful place, uh, but still, why take your presidential campaign to Ella J? Well, the answer is that uh, although Ella J doesn't have a lot of voters, most of the voters in Ella J love Pat Buchanan. Buchanan actually carried Gilmer County in the last presidential election. And today, he came back for more support. Hey, Mr. President. Welcome How home. Pat Buchanan did not arrive in a real fancy car. He did arrive to a warm welcome. <laughs> Buchanan told hundreds of LJ students his campaign is about their future, even though they won't be able to vote in 1996. Raising taxes on American families, your parents, is wrong. It's wrong to impose racial quotas 
on your older brothers and sisters who are trying to get jobs. All kinds of discrimination are wrong. These kids threw a lot of adult questions at Buchanan, everything from his stand on abortion to prayer in school. The candidate also fielded requests for his autograph. Later, supporters gathered outside pools where the meat of Buchanan's message is as popular as the barbecue. Pat is not supported by the corporates, the big corporates that are shipping all the jobs out of this country. He's down to earth and he's coming from the grassroots. And uh, he's, he is for the small people, I think, the working people. As a conservative, I think that Pat really does represent the conservative agenda, and not Bob Dole. Bob Dole's more of a moderate. That's what I see. Phil Graham, in the past few years, has become more conservative, but he voted for three big tax hikes. Now, Buchanan's conservative message is aimed at the average voter, and he's counting on strong support from the Christian right. But uh, I think you could say it's way too early to tell whether this is going to get him the Republican nomination. Well, at least you can say it's going to be interesting. If oh, they're yeah. already campaigning now, like Absolutely. This, it's yeah. going to be interesting. And he could always <laughs> run for mayor of LJ. They love him there. <laughs> I think he'd win. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Scott. Thanks, Scott. Uh, meanwhile, another Republican presidential contender made a stop in Ella J., Georgia today. Pat Buchanan seemed right at home, munching on barbecue with his supporters. Buchanan carried Gilmer County in the last presidential election, and he returned today to get a boost in his latest race for the White House. Buchanan called for lower taxes, an end to affirmative action, and a return of prayer in schools. Can't get enough politics? We have more for you. Buchanan and Alexander have more competition. This is Arlen Specter. He's a... Any idea how much money he's raised so far? Alexander uh -huh. isn't the only Republican challenger in this area today. No, commentator Pat Buchanan returned to LJ, Georgia. You remember he stopped there four years ago when he was challenging President Bush. Timothy Bradfield has the story of his return. Hey, all set. Anybody in there? He wants to be the next president of the United States. Republican candidate Pat Buchanan started his tour with a stop in Ella J, Georgia today, working the crowds and pushing his agenda. He also shared some of his political views with the kids at Ella J Middle School, and they were impressed. I think he'll make a good president because he understands our future. If I was old enough, I would vote for him. He has some good issues on the pro problems in our country. Quotas are wrong. Got to do something about illegal immigration. Problems and solutions. Buchanan tackled both topics over the airwaves of local radio. Back in '92, Buchanan was here in this small North Georgia town for the same reason he's here today, campaigning for the presidency. And he said the welcome was so overwhelming back then that he's made LJ his political hometown. Well, I'm glad that he considers LJ uh, his political hometown, and. Uh, He's conservative. Uh, Gilmer County's conservative. I think we're going to win it. I think we're going to astonish the Republican Party, and we're going to astonish the world when we come out of New Hampshire, come through Georgia, and carry this state. And if every state shows as much support as this small town, Buchanan might just win. With the Mobile Newsroom in LJ, Timothy Bradfield, News 12. Now, during the last presidential primary, Buchanan beat out George Bush in some areas of Georgia and he believes this time around should be even better with more than a year left to campaign. Well, since we had both candidates in the area today at the same time, we figured we'd ask them what they think of each other. It only made sense. Here's what they had to say. Yeah. Lamar's a nice fella. I used to work with him in the White House many years ago, uh, but I disagree with Lamar on a number of issues. I believe the Department of Education, which he headed for two years, should be shut down with the money and the resources and the power given back to the states and the people. Well, I'm not running against Pat or any other Republican. I hope the reason they choose me is because we're electing a chief executive of the United States, and I've been a chief executive. We're looking for someone to turn responsibility back to the states, and I've helped manage the state. And while we're talking about the Republican presidential field, it grew today by one. It says the road to the White House begins in North Georgia. I'm Deidre Davis. Some call him the bulldog of the Republican Party. Pat Buchanan returned to his political roots today in a rousing reception in Ella J. I'll tell you about his visit. And the others is I came... Pat in Ella J, Georgia. Don't laugh. We carried Ella J. 
That was 1992. Today, presidential candidate Pat Buchanan returns to the small North Georgia town he calls his own. Deidre Davis has details. Standing ovation to a man who could be the next president of the United States, the Honorable Pat Buchanan! Republican presidential hopeful Pat Buchanan returned to the place he called home three years ago, and the people of LJ embraced him once again. The only time Americans will ever be sent into combat is under American officers and to fight to defend the flag of the United States of America. Students applauded but hit Buchanan with a few politically astute questions of their own. Tough topics like abortion, gay rights and tax increases, all issues Buchanan opposes. I, I truly believe that um, Pat Buchanan is a true conservative. Uh, in the past they've supported tax increases and quota bills and more recently they've supported NAFTA, GATT, the World Trade Organization, the New World Order, and I'm opposed to those. Pat Buchanan is no stranger to LJ. He came here during his last presidential bid in 1992, and Republican leaders here credit him with putting LJ, Georgia, on the political map. That's when Pat Buchanan took his place among the many who have visited Poole's Barbecue and subsequently won Gilmer County in the Georgia primary. Kemp going to do? Kemp the ground? Today, history definitely repeated itself as Buchanan ended the day with some of the best barbecue in North Georgia. Deidre Davis, News Channel 9. Gilmer County's Republican Party was the first to officially endorse Pat Buchanan today. Pat Buchanan is not the only Republican challenger for the White House. Buchanan won Gilmer County in the 1992 Georgia primary. The presidential hopeful says he's not like many other Republican candidates. My differences between with the Republicans are, in the past, they've supported tax increases and quota bills, and more recently, they've supported NAFTA, GATT, the World Trade Organization, the New World Order, and I'm opposed to those. You know, Buchanan still has quite a way to go to raise all the money he needs. Georgia was a place of victory in 1992 for then-Republican presidential hopeful Pat Buchanan. It was one of his few primary victories. Because of that, Buchanan has always had a soft spot in his political heart for Gilmer County and the people there. Today, back on the campaign trail, trying to become president again, Buchanan returned to Gilmer County, and Channel 2's Don McClellan was there. Hey, Mr. President. Welcome home. Are you? Good to see you. Deja vu for Republican presidential candidate Pat Buchanan, returning to LJ in Gilmer County, where he successfully campaigned against George Bush in 92. Got only 36% of the vote in Georgia, but carried Gilmer County. I'm doing fine. We're jogging in good shape. The LJ schedule for the former Reagan White House communications director, the same as 92. His first stop, the LJ Middle School. <laughs> How do you folks like the lady I chose to replace? The presidential candidate's wife, Shelley, and he have been on the campaign trail for almost two weeks. The columnist and PBS commentator told his audience he's against NAFTA, wants to build a security fence to stop illegal immigration, would keep the Confederate battle flag on state flags, and... If and when I'm elected president of the United States, we will shut down the Department of Education. Questions from students. What do you think about the abortion issue? I am pro-life all the way, my friends. Pro-life, he said. Buchanan also displayed a sense of humor. About being the president. Why do I care so much about being the president? Basically, I want to fly around in those helicopters. Have you ever seen them? <laughs> Buchanan already has his pig on the pig hill of fame here at Pooh's Barbecue, and he returns here again today for a second time.